The Pacific Northwest is a place of magic. One in which you can experience four seasons in the same day. A place where you can get yourself lost for a lifetime. But I didn't come to Oregon to get lost. I came to Oregon because I already was. My life, my work, and my purpose in life had become distorted. I was stagnant in my routine, uninspired and jaded, drowning without a means to stay afloat. With Ernest, I explored Oregon the best way I knew how, by motorcycle, and therefore free of the confinements of a metal enclosure, as a means of immersing myself fully into nature and my surrounding environment, chasing the hope of unearthing something buried deep inside my soul. The journey began on my 70th consecutive day of travel. And though I was determined, fatigue clawed at my mind and body. And the elements tested my resolve. Each mile I rode, I was met with logistical challenges and severe sleep deprivation from constant camping. However, after 70 days of this hardship, void of any comfort, it cleared all the noise in my soul, body, and mind and allowed for a spiritual opportunity as I teetered on the edge of hopelessness. One in where my protective emotional walls were slowly chipped away at and dissolved completely. With no safety net, it allowed me to transparently feel and explore the shadows of my mind, revealing an unresolved reality I hadn't faced. Pain and embarrassment from my failures, fear of the unknown, and lack of acceptance of a new phase in my life. However challenging this was, I chose to at last confront the darkness. I accepted this understanding, and my fear slowly transformed into resolve, into an enlightened perspective, and into motivation. I realized the things that make us the most vulnerable are the things that give us purpose and strength the old walls of fear began to crack and collapse. And as I looked to the tall giants in the wild of Oregon, they spoke to me. They made me understand that, if you're going to try, go all the way. Try without fear of failure. When faced with complacency, do not settle for mediocrity. Never stop evolving into a better version of yourself. Find something to love and let it kill you. Live life to the fullest, fight for your moment, and live like you mean it. Our time on this blue marble is limited. You cannot escape the inevitable shadow of death, but you can certainly be death in life. If you face towards sunshine, then you cannot see your shadow. Mm -hmm.